Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best and fastest way to complete the KO Perico heist 100% solo while still getting the gold bars and also elite challenge in GTA 5 Online. As you all know, recently Rockstar has decided to nerf the KO Perico heist once again, and while nobody knows why they did this, the prices of all secondary targets and also most of the primary targets are now decreased a significant amount where some might not even consider this heist as overpowered as it used to be. While we Regardless, I'm going to be showing you an updated version to complete the heist finale that makes the heist still worth it with a trick I'm going to be showing you. So if you go on to enjoy today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it. But now, let's go. Now the first main change you'll for sure see is going to be the setup cost for the heist. It is no longer $25,000, it is now $100,000. Yes, a 300% increase for the setup cost. And I have no idea why they did this, this literally makes no sense to me. Now do not worry, we will not be going over any of the KO Perico heist setups in this video since nothing has changed with doing those but if you would like to see me going over all of these setups i made a video already going over all of them and if you would like to see that video just make sure you click the right corner of your screen right now and you can click that video to see it you do want to make sure when you're doing your gather intel mission though and you hack into the security camera footage you of course see what is inside of the basement what is your primary target you can see right here i got the bearer bonds and then check the office cam because sometimes inside the office there will be paintings inside of here but the main place that you want to check out is the west storage this is the only storage that you actually want to scope out because inside this west storage sometimes is gold bars and if there is gold bars later on in the video i'll show you a trick to get these gold bars yes even doing it solo all right now when it comes to setting up the heist when it comes to your approach vehicle i'm pretty sure you all know what you need to set this as of course the long fin once you set it to the long fin now come down to infiltration point make sure that is set to main dock now come down to where it says compound entry point make sure that is drainage tunnel and then come down to where it says escape point set that to the main dock and now come down to time of day set that to daytime then go down to weapon loadout and make sure you put suppressors on your weapon. Once you do that, you are completely ready. Now start up the heist. All right, now here we go. We are going to be doing the finale of the KO Perico heist. And this is honestly the most overpowered way I've ever seen to complete the heist. So let's get into it right now. Now, like I was saying in the beginning, when you were scoping out the actual compound, if there was gold bars inside of the West storage, not any other storage, just the West storage, then what you want to do is head straight over to Arubio's compound. If you do not have any gold bars inside of your West storage, what you need to do is head over to the airstrip. Once you head over to the airstrip where I'm at right here, make sure you park your boat exactly how I did. That way it's easy for us to leave. The first area that there is going to be secondary target loot at is going to be inside this hangar. But what you first need to do is take out that guard at the very front. Just get him with a headshot and then enter inside. Once you're inside, if you burn this lock right here, you can enter inside this gate and there's going to be loot inside of here that you can actually pick up and take. There is also loot at the very top if you would like to pick that up as well. All you would need to do is get that forklift and then pick up that box right here in front of me. Once you pick up that box, drive it up to the gate and then climb on top of everything and then go up that gate to get the loot. Anyway, there is a second spot that we can go over to to get secondary target loot and even though I'm not going to get the loot, I'm going to show you how to get over there. All you would need to do is come all the way across here and you need to get on top of this building right here. So climb on top of this wall then climb on top of the building and once you're on top of the building, you need to take out this security camera here. So simply just shoot it just like I did here and then you need to take out that security guard on top of that building right there in front of us. So I'm going to drop down here and then shoot him once in a headshot. Once you take him out, now enter inside of here and you can burn the lock once the security guard at the bottom left is walking away. Once he's walking away just like that, now burn the lock and inside of here is going to be more secondary target loot that you can pick up and take. So from here, once you get all of your secondary target loot, what you now need to do is head back over to your speedboat that we parked perfectly in the direction for us able to leave. So now once you get inside your speedboat, it's literally as simple as you flooring it. And now what we need to do is head over to El Rubio's compound, which once we get over there, we need to jump out of our boat and then enter through the drainage tunnel. And boom, just like that, once you burn the gate, you now need to enter the gate and then swim your way into the compound. From here, now take the exact way that I'm going here, up these stairs and then over this railing, now through this hallway and then take a left. Once you take a left, now take a right here, hop over this fence. And once you hop over this fence, wait at the bottom of these stairs until the security guard is walking away. Once he's walking away, then walk up these stairs, walk up these stairs, walk past this security guard and then past this second security guard. And now what you need to do is walk up these two flights of stairs. And once you walk up them, now wait at this part of the wall right here. Once you're at this wall, now lean up against it just like I am here. And now what you need to do is wait for the security guard to 
walk past you. Once he walks fully past you, now what you need to do is simply walk past him just like I did here and now we are inside of El Rubio's main office. Once you are inside, open his safe and then take the money found inside of here. Once you take the money, now what you need to do is walk up to the fingerprint cloner and do the fingerprint cloner hack which is really really simple to do. Once you have matched all of the fingerprints correctly, you now have successfully hacked the fingerprint cloner. Now what you need to do is enter inside the elevator, click right d-pad to go downstairs to the vault and inside this vault is going to be your primary target. Of course, every single person's primary target is going to be different as it's different every time you do the Caprico heist, but mine is going to be the bearer bonds. And what I have to do for this one is open up my text. And then once I see the text, I then have to get the code and then put it in the safe. And then I'll now be able to get my bearer bonds inside the safe. But if you had something inside the glass case, it's more simple. All you need to do is walk up to the glass case and then burn the glass case and then take the primary target. Once you get your primary target, now make your way out of the compound. But before we leave the compound, let me show you how to get the gold bars out of the West storage in case you did have gold bars inside of there what you need to do is come up to this part right here where i'm at right now go in first person and then walk up to the railing and jump over it once you jump over it's really important to make sure you hold up on your left joystick that way you land on your face like i did once you land on your face and you get back up now make sure you do not run but walk up to this part here and walk on top of this bush once you're on top of the bush now angle yourself exactly how my character is here so now jump up the railing and as soon as you're going up the railing you want to hold down on your left joystick that way you turn 180 degrees until you turn towards the building once you're looking towards the building now let go of all of your controls and you now should be glitched inside of the building from here just walk forward and just like that you now have glitched inside of the west storage Make sure when you were doing that trick though that you're very careful for the incoming guards. Usually it's really fast to do though, you should get it on your first try. Anyway, yeah, from here, all you need to do is walk up to the gold bar piles and simply pick up all of the gold that you can possibly pick up. All right, and once you get your loot bag 100% full and you took all of the gold bars, we can now make our way out of El Rubio's compound. So now walk up these stairs here. And now once you're going up to the actual exit, make sure you're careful for the guards. Make sure he's walking away once you go up to the gate. But once you go up to the gate, now click right D-pad and you will now be leaving El Rubio's compound. Just like before, once you leave El Rubio's compound, right here in the very front should be a guard protecting a motorcycle. So take out that guard and then get on the motorcycle. And we are now going to be using this motorcycle to make our way out of here. Just make sure you take the exact same route that I'm taking right here on your screen because this is the exact same way that I've always took to exit the Caoprico Island and it's honestly the easiest way to escape as well. Once you're in this part of the ocean, you now need to make sure you're swimming the exact way that I'm swimming here. Once you're swimming in the direction that I was, you should eventually swim over a whalebone underneath the ocean. That's how you know you are going to finish the Caoprico heist. Once you swim to there, the heist is going to end. As long as you were following this Caoprico heist guide exactly as I showed you, you should have had no problems completing this heist under 15 minutes. And doing that will get you the elite challenge as long as you didn't fail any hacks and also have a completely full loot bag which you should have easily been able to do during the heist. Anyway, I got the elite challenge and here's exactly how much money I got paid after completing the elite challenge. As you can see, $1.22 million after completing the Caoprico heist with the elite challenge. Now my primary target was the bearer bond so keep in mind if you were to have like a pink diamond or a ruby necklace this would have paid you way more. But yeah, now you know how to complete the Caoprico heist the best possible way and you also know how to get the gold bars if you did possibly have them in your west storage. Anyway, now you know how to complete the Caoprico heist as a solo player while getting the gold bars and also completing the elite challenge in GTA 5 online. If this video did go on to help you out or taught you anything new, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like on it. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on any future GTA videos just like this one. But that's it for me and I will see you all in my very next video. Peace.